Welcome back. This is Dead Simple Loading, part four. In part three, we walked you through uh, tracking your evening heart rate, your morning heart rate, and building a subjective package uh, with how you're doing, moving through your training week and your training year. And I also recommended you take two back-to-back -back easy days every single week. So let's start by talking about those easy days. If it's going well, you're going to be feeling good on the easy days. You're on a sustainable path and you're going to be tempted to make them less easy. So you're going to warm up. You're going to be outside, sun shining. What harm could a little tempo do? Or maybe I should do some strides today. Or, you know, I only got one strength session in. Maybe I should do a strength session on one of my easy days. I'll just go light. My recommendation is you keep the easy days easy. And you don't do anything that's going to stress yourself from, in terms of your nervous system. So nothing stressful. You just settle. And if you missed what you think was an important workout in your five-day microcycle before the two easy days, then do it first in the next microcycle. Don't jam it in. You're going to be at this for a really long time. Uh, each week is not make or break. It's stacking the weeks, which is going to drive your gains. Now, red zone, tempo training, more intense training. How do you know that you're tolerating that? This is where I think you'll find the evening heart rate is really helpful to you. If you're disrupted uh, in the evening, then you're going to need to do an easy day the next day. And if you're still disrupted, then another easy day even the next day. And then you've had your two back-to-back -back easy days. But it's not going to be productive for you to have to throw in easy days, a lot of easy days into your week. So what you should do is kind of back it up, realize that you, you don't yet have the general capacity to absorb these tempo and higher intensity uh, loads that you're giving yourself. So you either reduce the loads uh, in terms of dose, or reduce the intensity target. Or what I think you should consider is just getting rid of them for a period of time so that you can improve your general capacity with a volume, endurance, and strength focus. Uh, I think you'll find that overall, you're gonna get a much better growth in terms of performance year to year, month to month, if you establish that general capacity first, rather than trying to jam things in. Finally, if you're a type A personality, a stress maxer, a load maxer, you're going to find that this new protocol is giving you so much rest. And you're gonna say, oh, I'm just going easy all the time and how am I ever gonna get better? If you trust the protocol and stick with it for a few months, you're gonna start seeing those compound gains come through. And then you're gonna get buy-in and it's gonna be like, wow, you know, I don't feel like I'm doing all that much. I'm not stressed out all the time, but I'm getting better. I'm improving. And I went through this process uh, six months, not much looked like it was happening. And then things really started to happen and the gains started coming through. And that made it the mental side so much easier for me. So I hope this helps. Uh, I've got a few more series up my sleeve and hopefully you'll join me for them. Thanks for listening.